I've been fishing these ponds in Charles County a lot in the last few months and have been lucky enough to pull some really quality largemouth from them. I had not seen any evidence of snakehead in this pond system up until a couple of weeks ago when I first encountered a fry ball and a pair of fish guarding it in the very far back reaches of the largest pond. I was fishing late afternoon, headed into the evening time, and had not been on the water for 20 minutes when this snakehead showed up. It took a wacky rig, black and blue Senko fished very slowly along a steep bank on a laydown. And this fish just about outmatched my net. He had serious lockjaw that would not allow me to get my fish grips into his mouth, so I couldn't get a weight, but with a very unconventional measure, it laid down at 28 and a half inches. Now, this fish was super dark, lacking any of the typical patterns associated with snakehead. I know males are typically darker than females and have a broader head. This fish fit all of that criteria, so I assume it was a male. I know largemouth have receptors in their eyes that detect varying levels of light and cue changes in the pigment cells with their skin. While the fish's eyes receive reflected light from its surroundings, and this often triggers a hormonal release in the skin to either move the pigment closer to the surface of the skin or further away. And due to this shift in pigment, largemouth can camouflage themselves when ambushing prey or when being pursued by a predator. And if they're in very clear water with plenty of weeds or cover, they usually have a darker or clearer markings. When they're found out in deeper water or even shallow muddy water, the pigment moves further away from the skin and they can take on a faded or bleached out appearance. Now, I'm not sure if that dark coloring of this snakehead has any additional meaning in that species. So if you have any ideas, leave me a comment and shed some light on the subject. Thanks for watching this quick reel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, y'all, tight lines.